Hey everyone, on this episode of Lifeline, we're gonna take a look at the PGW DTI Coyote Rifle. All right, so if you've never heard of PGW DTI, they were previously named Prairie Gunworks. Uh, now it's Prairie Gunworks uh, Defense Technology Incorporated. They're based out of Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. So this is a Canadian made rifle, which is pretty awesome because any opportunity I can have to support Canadian and support local, I'm definitely gonna take that opportunity. Nice. So today we have a target set up at about 1060 yards. Uh, it is the Thundershot Rimfire target, so it's made by Griffin Energetics. I found it to be the most reliable binary target available, so that's why we're using that today. It is about three inches wide, so uh, I'll let you do the math. Uh, you can comment below with the size of the target that I'm shooting in MOA if it's a three inch target at 1060 yards. Yeah! Oh, oh my God. Okay, so we just hit a three inch target at 1,060 yards. Uh, there's the proof there. You can see the explosion. You can see the, uh, the smoke in the distance. So that is about half a pound of this rimfire explosive. It comes in a square box, so it doesn't matter where on the, the packaging you hit it. It's gonna go through the full amount of, of uh, of the target, which is an awesome feature compared to a round jar style product. And we'll head on inside and I'll give you guys a really close look at this rifle. All right, let's do it. All right, so it's been a whole week since we filmed last. Uh, we were shooting our target out at a th over a thousand yards and we were able to hit our three inch target. So now we're gonna take a close look at the PGW Coyote. So when you get in the mail, it's gonna come in this Pelican Storm case, which is really awesome because then you know that it's packaged properly and it's not getting bounced around by the post office. Open it up and I was super excited to see that it came in a custom cut foam package like this. Everything is cut out perfectly for this rifle. This isn't peel and pluck foam. This is cut out special for the PGW Coyote. It comes with a J. Dewey cleaning rod, which is awesome because they are the best. It has a bore guide, you're gonna get some patches, you're gonna get some solvent, you're gonna get some oil. You're also probably gonna get a couple of magazines with it. I ordered extra, uh, I think it comes with one, and I also bought a, um, a bipod with it as well. So everything has its own little space inside the case. All right, so we're gonna take a look at the dimensions and the weight for the PGW Coyote. The weight of this rifle without the scope and unloaded is 13 and a half pounds. The length of this thing with this awesome muzzle brake on here is 45 and a quarter inches long. When it's closed up inside of its case and you have the stock folded over here, it becomes 34 and three quarters inches long. With the stock folded over, it's three and a half inches wide. When it's open, it's only an inch and three quarters wide. When you buy the standard 308 version of the Coyote rifle, it's gonna come with one of these awesome two port brakes. It's gonna have a straight taper barrel and all the way back, so about two thirds of the way down, which is so that you can fit a suppressor over top of the barrel. After that, you're gonna to get to some really gnarly uh, spiral twist fluting. This is gonna dissipate heat, it's gonna reduce weight, and it's gonna look absolutely badass. The chambering of these rifles is a 308 match chamber and you're going to have a 1 in 10 twist barrel. This one is in 6.5 Creedmoor and I believe is 1 in 8 twist. The total length of the barrel is 24 inches. One of my absolute favorite features of this rifle is the bolt. It is huge. It is so big and solid. There's no wobble, nothing. It is buttery smooth. Look at that. It has spiral fluting so that it matches the barrel, so you have 
double the sexiness on this rifle now. The bolt lift is nice and long and it has a knurled grip. The lugs on this thing are huge, so you know when it's locked into place, it is not going anywhere. The next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the trigger. PGW is using Trigger Tech triggers, which are absolutely phenomenal triggers. They're probably the best precision rifle triggers out on the market today. PGW is using a proprietary magazine. This means that this magazine won't fit on any other rifle, which is kind of a disappointment for me. However, I haven't found that it's been any shorter than the AICS magazine, and I've noticed that AICS magazine extensions will still fit on this magazine. Another thing worth mentioning about this rifle is that it's going to come with all these awesome rails up here so you can attach all your tactical goodies. The cheek riser is adjustable as well as the length of pull. Okay, so we just loaded another 10 rounds of the Federal Gold Medal Burger bullets into my magazine and we'll do another 10 round grouping. So we have two uh, 10 round groupings at the end of this and we'll go down range and we'll take a look, see how they look. All right. All right, let's go take a look at the target. All right, so we have our two groupings here. So this was my first 10 round grouping. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, pretty decent. And then here, uh, again, it's not bad, about one M away. For more information on the PGW Coyote, make sure you click on the link in the description below. I'll have a link there linking me, or linking you rather, to PGW's website. As always, thanks for watching. I'm Ryan and I'm out of here.